All right, we're now recording. Welcome to chapter seven and eight discussion. Um, takeaways. Did y'all understand what the heck was a fulcrum? Because I, I still don't know what a fulcrum is. It's figure uh, seven. Is it 7.9 or 19? it talks about a specific like a fulcrum point is um i did okay here we go the point of support on which a lever rotates is called the fulcrum now that makes sense to me when i like say that out loud but then when i try to like rationalize it back to um figure 7.19 page 139 in the book um pdf form it's like five pages behind we said so like maybe 133 maybe 134 um, oh, it's uh 160 but yeah oh, i was way off <laughs> but um let me um do you guys have any thoughts on the fulcrum because i i kind of i kind of don't get it Okay, I'm trying to see. I don't even see. You said seven. Okay, seven on the team. Yeah, now that you bring that up, I don't get it either. I'm looking at the, the figure, the 7.19 figure, oh, and okay. I'm trying to. Oh, actually. Oh, okay, I see it right here, right here. Okay, I'm on the. It's on the other page before. Okay, I just did quick like Google search and it just says uh, the support about which a lever turns. Yeah, so I just was thinking in my head like, oh, is we having having a visualized stuff. I was thinking like, um, y'all know the tool. And I don't know what it's called. You, you, it's like it fits into it, and you put it on there and you crank it. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm thinking about in my head. The part that goes around the bolt or the tool that you crank to tighten or loosen it. I think I know what you're talking about. I don't know what it's called either, but I think I know what you're talking about. Wait, say say it one more time. The thing that goes around something when you want to. Um, man, what is it called? It's not a monkey wrench, but like it's um, and it has different sizes. Like a that torque it wrench. Fits. What's it called? Like a torque wrench. Um, like does it have a? And you like crank it, it like, like um. Oh my goodness. Because a torque wrench works in you have a you have your wrench and then you have a bit and then you have the, the piece and then you put this on and you go Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yep. So is yep. it that's I wonder is that a good example of that? So hmm. the thing that we put the thing on will be the support, right? I don't I don't know. I I think I think so. I don't know because I'm confused you know like you too but that was just something that I was kind of thinking about when I read that part like mm -hmm. hmm, I wonder is that a good example when the focal mobile lever is relatively close to the load a small force will produce a large out Input force. This is because the input force is exerted through a large distance and the load is moved through a correspondingly short distance. So mm -hmm. lever can be a force multiplier, but no machine can multiply work and multiply energy. Mm -hmm. mm. So yeah. what, what a fulcrum, no, a fulcrum is just the point of support not the actual support. So the fulcrum point, 
I'm looking at figure 7.19, it makes sense for the fulcrum point to be in the middle of the pulley when the pulley system is um, like a, a downwards parabola. Um, so like I have a box and here I am and I'm pulling and then it's slowly going up. But then when it's flipped, that's where I get confused because on figure B of 7.19, the fulcrum is fully to the left rather than the center even though the output is still, the output's in the middle, the input's on the, is in the side. Is the output in the middle because the output is the, is the, um, the block, the block that's holding? I think so. I think that's okay. like shown because I think the block, like, um, since it's like kind of like holding something, I mm -hmm. think, uh, it's like applying some type of force. And I think the output is showing like, uh, the like opposites like you know how like I think it was in the last chapter like it would say like when uh you're like pushing on something it's also like doing the same thing but the opposite way mm -hmm. so I think um with the like the little dude like um picking it up I think the output is showing like um what it's also like uh, exerting as well so yeah. I think I think that's what it might be I think I think so too yay thank you guys because I was really messing, messing my face over up over that. I was, <laughs> I kept looking at these two triangles and I was like, why is this not making sense? Yeah. Well, you know what's so funny? Because before you even mentioned the triangles, I just thought they were there. But <laughs> <laughs> now that you say that, they are in two different spaces. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sick. That makes me happy. Okay. Um, for chapter seven, chapter seven was much about uh, energy. We discussed, um, today was a really busy week, so I didn't take notes. I just highlighted the snot out of my textbook. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I took pretty decent notes. It talked about all different kinds of energies. Um, it talked about how basically everything we do, a lot of the things we do, you know, in our everyday life, used by energy or you know energy is required to use it mm -hmm. do y'all think y'all could like could survive like back then when it wasn't electricity it wasn't like a refrigerator it was like what are y'all top things that y'all could not do without or cannot do without hmm. mine would be air conditioning yeah, yeah, I agree. That that one's up there. <laughs> I don't think I can deal without air conditioning. Um, Sam, I could not do without air conditioning. Okay, do y'all think we could do without electricity? No, heck no. No, yeah, I, I don't uh, think so. Like even not. even when the power goes out for like a split like second or like you know cut like up to five minutes, I'd be losing my mind. So mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Indoor plumbing, I'm done. I'm dead. I'm out. I'm out. I'm no longer being alive. Oh yeah, I had to agree. I think that yeah, those that would yeah because oh my goodness, you won't catch me in the street with a bucket. Absolutely not. I'll get the black plague before I'm caught with a bucket. The no way. <laughs> Absolutely not. Couldn't do it. Ugh, I'll let rats crawl then. over me before I'm pooping in a bucket in a street full of people. Can't not do it. And you know what? It's so funny now that you say that. Like, you know, in all the like oldie movies, mm -hmm. you don't ever really hear about them talking about like, I know what had to stink outside because <laughs> where they, they didn't have nowhere for the waste to go. They probably became like nose blind at some point, you know, like yeah. they're smelling it oh, so often goodness. that yeah, it's just normal to them, probably. I'm surprised that, um, like, immuno. Uh, not deficiencies, that's not the right word, but like immunoresistances weren't mm -hmm. as strong like back then to um, common diseases and stuff. Like obviously there are lots of diseases that wiped out a lot of right, right. that uh, human bodies just couldn't keep up with, with uh, means of medicine and all of that jazz. But I'm, I don't know, it'd be, because like compared cleanliness wise, how we are like in 2023 to like, 
let's say 19, mm-hmm. 1960s or maybe no I feel like I, I'm gonna be honest with you guys history was never my favorite in high school and all that so my historical timeline is very not there but like during the time of um like England and like the Black Plague and all of that jazz because I love diseases and plagues like that I wonder if uh I don't remember where I was going with this never mind never mind I don't remember <laughs> No, you were talking about like if they were like getting sick a lot and stuff, or if their mm-hmm. immune systems like they had to be pretty good, you know, not to be getting sick, or either you know, did they get sick a lot having all that stuff just hanging around? Probably did. I would assume they probably did, you know, mm-hmm. and like didn't even know like the cause of it. Like they probably were getting sick and just couldn't put two yeah. together, like. Why are we all getting sick? Like, they didn't probably think that it had to do with, like, their hygiene and stuff like that. Because it wasn't, like, common for them, you know? So, they probably never figured it out. I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, that, 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 would, that, would, that would be interesting. One jewel of work is done when one new him is exerted over one meter of this distance. Power, power comes from, oops, 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 oops. We don't want to print. Okay. <laughs> the amount of work done per time it takes to do it. is power equals is it total work done over time in our field work yeah I insert an equation insert equation you gotta let me type dude <laughs> okay fine don't how about you just give me a division equation how about that sorry if y'all hear me chewing in the background oh you're good i took my iron and vitamin c medicine and i i took it on the empty stomach so i gotta eat something real quick i'm i get the wheat things with salt on them and then i scrape the salt off isn't that stupid you scrape the salt off? Yes, because I tried the wheat things without the salt. They're disgusting. But sometimes it's too much salt on the wheat thing for Yeah, me. they, they kind of do be going a little crazy with the salt sometimes. <laughs> it's never the same. <laughs> yeah. See, I think uh, salt is so good. Like, okay, story time. So um, do y'all know the, that salt that they put out on the streets? Yeah, to melt the uh um the sides of the like the ice and stuff. Like so the ice was, melt. <laughs> yeah, when I was a kid and in like fifth grade, my um my mom, it was just my mom and my brother and I, and so my mom had to work super super long hours, and so I would go to the local YMCA because I lived in Norfolk, Nebraska, and I was usually really hungry after school, and so I would stay like during the winter time I would stay really close to the uh mats right outside of the YMCA as people walked in, and I'd pick off the salt and I would eat it. And then I told my mom about it one day and she's like, what? And I had to go to the emergency room and we had to call poison control. (laughs) What? I pushed you to first try that salt. I really like salt. I used to sneak salt as a kid, like the salt shaker bottles. I'll eat, I'll eat it by the end. Oh, so good. You have high blood pressure now? (laughs) Probably. I probably do. (laughs) That's crazy. Not the salt for the floor. (laughs) <laughs> i've never like i mean i season my food when i cook it but like i'm not an over seasoner you know like some people mm-hmm. as soon as their food come they season it with salt and pepper um and then like once i i had covid and after that it's like my tongue is super sensitive to super salty stuff like i think stuff is like so salty you can't eat it and other people will be like you can't even taste the salt <laughs> You're like, I can. It's too much. Yeah. 
when you have so much salt and then it you feel like a raisin on the inside it's the best yeah <laughs> it's always a joke in our household because every time we go to like fast food restaurants i'll always get the fries with no salt so they call mine the old people fries not the old people fries yeah, no, like, when i worked in fast food i'm not gonna lie it was mostly old people ordering yeah. fries with no salt <laughs> Yeah, and then some young people like, would do it just so like they know the fries were fresh, you know. But yeah, well, see, sometimes it's like they put the perfect amount of salt, and other times they're so salty you can't even eat them. So I just yeah. save myself that and just uh oh, but they they so good, especially McDonald's fries without salt. Oh my goodness! Um, <laughs> uh, McDonald's fries are the best. And I will die on that hill. Or is Five Guys the one with skinny fries, or is it uh, Freddy's? Whoever has the super. I think it's Freddy's with like the little itty bitty yeah. thin fries. They're yeah, so those are so good. But they give you a lot though because they're mm -hmm. so they're able to fit a lot into the package, which is the nice thing about that. Yeah. Um, I don't want to talk all about the types of energy. We're just going to put um, conservation of energy. I actually have a question about that exact thing. So when I was reading it and it said energy cannot be created or destroyed, it could be transferred from one object to another or transferred from one form into another, but the mm -hmm. total amount of energy never changes. So I was thinking of like, like let's say like a bouncy ball or something like that like let's say it's just bouncing and bouncing and it says like the energy can't be created or destroyed so like when it stops bouncing like wouldn't that be like the energy stopping but then now that I'm reading it out loud where it says one form into another maybe it goes from um what's the word a uh, kinetic energy back into potential energy probably that's exactly what happens with it yeah yeah and you wow. know what I was thinking about? I was thinking about like how how deaf people hear music. You know, they don't hear it through their ears. They can feel it through their feet. Wait, for real? Yeah, that's how they keep beat. Because you can feel if music is turned up through the mm -hmm. vibrations. You know, that's how. Yeah, I, I didn't know that either until I, I had a friend who was deaf. And mm -hmm. I'm like, how can you hear the beat? Because she would snap on beat and everything. And I'm, you know, like, not trying to be funny, but I'm like, how do you? And she said she feels the movements. That's she can feel them through her feet. Uh, sometimes I notice that she touches certain things. Like, she'll touch the table, uh, you know, or something where she can feel the vibrations. Or sometimes it comes through the speakers, and that's how she knows. Wow. That's cool. I like that's probably, yeah. like, a better experience, too. Yeah, that's so cool. Mm -hmm. Yep, exactly. So that's what I was thinking about when they were talking about because I had that same question that you did. Like, so where does it go then? But that's like you know, it's in our ears. But then it also once the music stops, sometimes you can still feel the vibrations of things, even mm -hmm. though we can't hear them anymore. Yeah, that's cool. Our neighbor, he has some speakers in his um in his truck. And y'all, this is no lie. One day, I don't know if he was like, it was his song, or I don't know, but stuff started like vibrating in my room. And I'm like, what the heck? Like it's two o'clock in the morning. You know, like it shouldn't be no semis or nothing. Y'all, he was a block away when he pulled into the driveway. My picture frame broke. Like, uh -huh. yes. And I'm thinking, there is no way you riding in a car with your music that loud. And I'm in a whole house, in a four-story house, though, on the top level. And my stuff is jumping off the walls and breaking. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy. Those are like some good speakers, though. <laughs> yeah, that's too loud. The older I get, I can't tolerate extra loud stuff like I used to. You know, I'm not going to lie. That's low-key me, too. Like, even, yeah. like, when I'm, like, listening to stuff on my phone sometimes, I'd be like, this is too loud for no reason. Like, mm -hmm. I do not need the whole house to hear my TikToks. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this one more thing that's funny. 
uh, it went like it, it was a a mandate to wear a mask. Mm -hmm. I found out when my mouth is covered, I cannot hear or see. Like I like yeah, I can, but like I really I don't hear good or something. It's crazy. Does that sound no, crazy? No, I get know? that. I really get that because that's like when I'm watching something on Netflix, like I need the subtitles. It's like I can hear it, <laughs> but I need the subtitles to like get it for real. <laughs> yeah. I think like when people are talking stuff like with the mask, it's like hard because like we we like watch people's lips a certain way and maybe yeah. mouth read in a certain like without I think it's like a subconscious thing that we do. And so like without the mask, like it was just like harder to like understand people. Like I don't know if you ever seen those TikTok pranks where like they'll say something that's like totally like like wild to say in public. And then when the person's like, what'd you say? They'll take down the mask and it's like they say something totally different, but like yeah. I guess with the mask on, like you could uh thought they said that so yeah but yeah those were crazy times oh my gosh especially wearing glasses when they would fog up i don't yeah. miss that i do not miss that at all but isn't like covid like like back again like i don't know yeah. like, I, know I, I don't know i've been people, hearing about it i know several people who have had covid recently yeah i seen like this girl her like newborn got covid and i'm like oh my gosh that's scary yeah I mean, that yeah, is one of my um, one of my clients, her dad is in the hospital because of COVID. Yeah, like I heard, like it's just back and it's like getting worse. Like I don't know if it'd be like to the point like we would have like another like lockdown type thing, but I hope not. I God, I hope not. I don't know, but you know what? I don't think it will only because people have had COVID two and three and four times and they don't even know it. True. Only way they would know is if they are taking COVID tests. Other than that, most people think it's their allergies or it's a summer cold or it's a fall cold. You know, unless they have like major complications that send them to the hospital or, you know, mm -hmm. that give them an inkling of that. People are getting COVID like every day. Yeah, literally. I remember the first time I got COVID, I actually did not know. I didn't have no symptoms. Like I was literally classified as what's called asymptomatic. So mm -hmm. I had no symptoms. The only reason why I found out is because I went to the hospital for something different. And then they were like, oh, we got to do like mandatory like a COVID test. And then they came out there like, you got COVID. I'm like, who got COVID? Like I have no symptoms. So it was just crazy. But I think like the second time I got it, like, I could definitely tell. I didn't have like the symptoms of like, you can't taste stuff type deal. Like I really thought it was just like, regular like seasonal changing um like um that sickness you get when the seasons change I thought it was like that yeah. and I was like okay I'm gonna take a COVID test just to see but I really didn't think it was COVID so when it came back positive I was like oh You're like shoot <laughs> now I can't go to work literally I was like what the heck like I was like okay I'm gonna literally just take this for like you know shits and giggles like I really did not think it was COVID so I was so surprised when it came back positive but you know I'd rather a positive uh COVID test than pregnancy test so uh, yeah fell, literally fell <laughs> COVID is what like just like a two-week thing roughly yeah versus a <laughs> thing <laughs> right <laughs> but I don't know all those diseases and stuff is just crazy. And the fact that, like, even when you get the vaccine, you could really still get it easily. Like, I don't know. It's just crazy. They made, like, yeah. a million different versions of that vaccine. Talking about you need this booster one and two and three and four. And it's just, like, there's just too much. You know, I didn't take the vaccine um, because I felt like if I'm taking it, it should stop me from getting it. The only thing it did is give it to you. So that if you caught it again, your body would already kind of have a system built up to protect you against it. That's why everybody, like, three days after they got the shot or, like, a week and a half after they got the shot, everybody eventually started exhibiting some type of symptom. Yeah. It was just crazy. And, like, don't they say for vaccines, like, that you have to have, I think, at least five years of something before you can really administer it to people. And then that vaccine came out and they were just like, all right, boom, and just started giving it to, like, healthcare workers and all that, yada, yada. And I'm like, I don't know, like, this is risky. Like, what if in, like, five, ten years, like, there's just some, like, something that comes with that? Like, oh, if you got the vaccine years ago, now you got risk of getting blah, 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 like something. I don't know. 
Oh, it's yeah, that's where like that's that. where it is now. My uh, fiance, her mom has blood clots consistently now, be from due to COVID shots. Wow. Yep she she found out because her hips collapsed. She has no blood flow to both of her hips. Wow. Yeah, it's crazy. Just one day it happened out of nowhere. No, nobody knows what happened. Like she just couldn't walk one day. Wow. Yeah, crazy. And she caught a blood clot in it. It was hurting real, real bad. They found the blood clot, and then that's how they found out that both of them was collapsing. The blood flow was cut off. But yep, she uh she has to take blood th- thinners, and she had all the vaccine. She over vaccinated herself. Mm mm. To try to stop from getting it and still got it. And that's the thing about it. And then there's people like who never got the vaccine, who never got COVID. I don't know why it's like people that got the vaccine were like, I don't know, like almost more prone or susceptible to getting um, COVID again or in the first place. Because like I didn't, I got it. And then I want to say it was the next year after like the first year of COVID and stuff that like after I got my vaccines and all that that I got it again but the second time it was like yeah I'm definitely definitely sick but I really did not want the vaccine but my dad works he's an epidemiologist so he was literally working with COVID and so he was like like, you need to get the vaccine and I'm like I guess I guess but yeah but I also traveled like out of the country last year and like that was like one of the requirements too oh i went to malaysia for about like two months Mm -hmm. oh my god that is cool yes it was such a fun experience i was staying with my aunt because she lives there her and her husband and it was just like so interesting because there's like no black people there like it's there's um indians malaysians and chinese people so there's people because like you know how some indians be dark skinned like there's people that was like darker than me but because their hair texture is different that's how you could tell like they're like the same but people were so like friendly and stuff like that and like they had so much questions not like questions where it's like like almost like kind of racist but like they were just like really like intrigued because they don't ever see like any other black people like (laughs) my aunt is like the one black person there it felt like like the only other black people I've seen were at the university there was like a couple like Nigerians and stuff like that but other than that I didn't see like nobody like I felt like a celebrity everywhere I went like people would be like oh like how long does it take to do your hair and this and that mm-hmm. and I don't know why but a lot of people thought I was from the UK for some reason I don't know why but it was yeah. just very nice and the food is great the exchange rate is so good like one U.S. dollar is almost like roughly five of their money. So wow. I was big balling over there, like big. Okay. <laughs> like I was just buying so much stuff. Like I bought some Miss Dior perfume there. It cost me, I want to say like mm-hmm. 200 something of their money, but like transfer it back to American money. It was like $30. So what? crazy. I know. I was just, just buying stuff up. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, why not? I can afford it here. Back home, I'll be a little stingy. Like, eh, I don't know. But there, I was just splurging, like, just buying stuff, buying stuff, buying stuff. Because I'm like, we don't we don't got this back home like that. It's so expensive. Like, I got my lashes done for about, like, 25 US dollars. And they were so, nice. so good. So good. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Considering but, lashes are, man. like, 200 plus USD. I know I was telling her about that and she was like yeah I know I have some people come from America and they tell me all the time I'm like yeah like you do not understand like it's so expensive there but yeah I was able to like tip her like what uh she charged plus like almost like half because I'm like you know this is so cheap compared to what I'm used to so yeah why not and she did such a good job oh my gosh I wanted to bring her back to America with me (laughs) Yes, I definitely want to get out the country at least one time. <laughs> yeah, it's it's nice. I recommend it. Like, man, it's just I love going to different places. Like I've been to different places in Europe, um, Asia, of course. Like just it's just nice going to different places. I really want to go to South America. I've never been there. Cool. I want to go somewhere there though. I don't know where necessarily, but somewhere there. <laughs> I always said I wanted to go to Greece, 
Mm -hmm. Always wanted. I wanted to go to like Japan, and then I definitely want to go to Africa. That's definitely one of my. I want to go to a few places there. Yeah. I was born in Togo, West Africa, so I've only been there, but I want to go to, like, different parts of Africa, like Ghana, which is, like, the neighboring country, or, like, Nigeria and stuff like that, like, more yeah. African places, but, yeah, and I've been to Japan, but only for, like, a couple hours, because, like, uh, it was, like, the layover flight to Malaysia, and, oh, my gosh, like, that place is just so cool, like, I was in Tokyo, it was just like I don't know, like it's literally how it is, like in the in the movies and stuff. Like it's just such For a real? beautiful, nice place and stuff like that. And then they have like in their airport, they had a Gucci store in the airport. I was like, what the heck? Like this is crazy. That is cool. Yeah, and they had like this bag in there, and it was like a certain blue color that apparently they only sell in Japan. Like you can't get it like in the states type stuff. And I was like, wow, this is cool. But yeah, it was a big airport too. And then I had like um some ramen from this place. Oh my gosh, it was so so good. <laughs> but yeah. I bet I bet it tastes better over there. For sure. <laughs> For sure. Like it tastes so much more authentic. <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah, it was it was nice over there. I was there for like a good like a long time because like I think my layover was like 18 hours I think so I was I was just there for a fat minute just chilling but right it was cool it's real cool so like are your parents are they like very traditional or like are they pretty like cool and laid back uh, I would say I got lucky and I have like more laid back parents when it comes to having African parents because like a lot of people that I know that are also African their parents woo 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 they do too much like for example like just me having these two nose piercings like somebody else's mama would like trip but my mom she's on the, the cooler side of things but like they're my parents are only traditional when it comes to like um how they push you in school like right like, mm -hmm. like your best and all that and stuff like that but like everything else they're they're pretty laid back and like I'm so thankful for that because some of these parents oh, I don't know how the mm. kids do it I mean oh I've been feeling bad for them but I don't know I think it's because my parents like they came here when they were like pretty young like my dad was 25 my mom was 22 so oh. I think like you know like being so young and then being here for so long like they just kind of adapted like I feel like if they were older before they left they might have been a little more, more mm -hmm. like, on the side but no uh, they're they're pretty cool so that's cool Chloe are your parents pretty cool mm, my mom is my dad I don't know where the hell he's at so yeah but my mom is really cool I love my mom yeah. such a hard such a hard working woman um, like my biggest uh role model. I absolutely love my mom. She's great. Absolutely great. Yeah, that's cool. That is cool. She had to do a lot of things all on her own. So fuck my dad, but my mom's great. <laughs> yeah. Moms most of the time always rule. I mean, you know, dad, cool dads are cool too, but it's nothing like a cool mom. That's yeah. True. It makes the difference. <laughs> it does okay i kind of did a write-up of a bunch of stuff about chapter eight things that i think we should definitely touch on is um centrifugal force versus centripetal centripetal is going to be a fixed center while centrifugal or f yeah i think i'm saying that right is not gravity it is not a force but it is um a product of inertia from a centripetal force so it makes it it makes like a person or an object that is experiencing the centrifugal force feel like it's gravity but it's actually not gravity okay it's kind so of can weird. you not have um a centrifugal force without a central centripetal force oh that's a great question i'm i'm not exactly sure okay hmm I 
Not a That's a good question. It would help if you spelled these words right, Chloe. <laughs> I'm such a weirdo, like, I like words, and that word just cracked me up. I had to read it a few times, because I'm like, am I saying it right? <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys get to the part where it said, um, what was it? It was checkpoint three, page 158, where it says, just for fun, and since we're discussing circles, why are maintenance holes circular in shape, like? What was the figure number? It's, it's uh well it's tech, it's right next to figure eight point one four, um, mm -hmm. page one fifty eight, and it's asking like why are maintenance full covers circular in shape? Um, I have a I have a uh what is it an argument to to that? Because the reasoning is they said it on the very last page of chapter chapter eight page one seventy four in the book. This is that a square cover can be tilted vertically and turned so it can drop diagonally within the hole. But so could so could a circular cover. Because have you guys seen the video of this little boy, or it's a girl, I'm really not sure. It was a child. It was a very small child. And their their mass weight, whatever, was enough to be they walked over the manhole cover and the manhole cover went like this and they fell in. Mm. And then the no, man cover fell that. over, like just right on top. That's crazy. What is a manhole cover? So, um, let me find a picture. I will. Is it like those random, like, um, circle things, like, uh, like on um, yep. street and stuff street? Like that, that mm -hmm. cover like sewers? Yep. Yep. That's exactly what that oh, is. okay. Okay. <laughs> Oh, that's not funny that the kid fell in, but oh. yeah, he just <laughs> fell in and he just went like, Bloop! and then the mom was freaking out and like a bunch of other people ran over to like help pull the kid out and all that jazz. But that's I thought that was interesting because like, if that's the reasoning for as to why I use a circle or a circular one, sh maybe we should find a better reasoning because a, a kid can fall through it. And also yeah. I've seen videos of raccoons removing the manhole covers climbing in them and then pulling them back on they're just like nah, have to hide raccoons are scary i remember the first time i seen one i was in the car and it was outside and i was so scared <laughs> like for some reason i didn't think they were real like i don't i didn't think raccoons or skunks were real so i've never seen a skunk so i still kind of don't think they're real but i don't know <laughs> mm -hmm. i'll take a picture for you we have skunks next door to my house. What? Yeah, and I live in the hood. <laughs> are they little or are they big? Like, girl, no, they big. Uh uh. They big. Mm hmm. Send absolutely send a picture. We'll make it the uh the physics group chat photo. <laughs> yes. Okay. So like, I stay on 18th and work. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure if you know where that is, but like, Wait, 18 and 18th and fourth. Wirt, W I R T. So, like, two blocks in front of me is Carter Lake, but like, I'm like five minutes from downtown. Oh, okay. so I'm kind of like in a weird spot, but we have skunks. We even got this thing. I'm going to take a picture of it too, and maybe y'all can tell me what it is. I don't know if it's a, it looks like a beaver or like a, it has a flat tail like a beaver, but like, what the heck is it doing? It's not no water, really. I mean, like, I'm by Carter Lake, but, like, the water is, like, it's some miles away from my house. <laughs> and they just be running around in the yard. Like, it's crazy. Wow. Yes. And the skunk always goes under our porch. And luckily, Has it ever sprayed? Smell it. Yes, we can smell them. You know you can smell them before you see them. And it's like, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's crazy. Yes. Well, now I know they're real. Because I swear I've never seen one in my life. Like, I thought I saw and one last time dead on the road, but I think it was a, a possum. 
Yep, but they look just like the picture. That stripe is really look like that. Really, they're they're not ugly. They're really, I guess, pretty in a way. I mean, because they're so white. You know, the middle part is so black and it's like perfect. But those jokers, they stink so bad. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm over here Googling skunk smell like, wow. Are you yes. back? Uh, their, their smell lasts 14 to 21 days. Oh, wait, that's not a football field. That's a whole stadium, a baseball stadium. Do you live by the baseball stadium? No, I'm not that far downtown. Um, if you Are you looking on Google Maps? If you look on Google Maps, you can type in 1807 work, and it will show you, like, right where I am. I used to delivery drive for Pickleman's in Midtown, and I've delivered mm -hmm. for a really long time. 1807. Um, yep. I'm to see if I've delivered here before, I've delivered next to it. Oh, yeah, I've delivered over here. You have a cute house. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. I'm so creepy. I'm sorry. I'm a little stalker. <laughs> <laughs> don't ever tell me your address because i will absolutely look it up in a heartbeat <laughs> i'm a weirdo like that <laughs> so i just was sitting here thinking like about the test i can't remember if, if it was already written in there is it like multiple choice or is it like we're gonna have to write it in i think it's I hope it's multiple choice. I really, it's probably a combination of multiple choice and essay questions. Um, yeah. Probably what, which is what it's going to be. I haven't, I haven't looked at anything about the test. Has he released anything about, about the test? I haven't looked. I hope I haven't looked yet. But as soon 